Hello and welcome back to Detailing Diaries, where today I want to talk about cloths and towels, specifically new cloths and towels. Okay, Why do I want to talk about them? Are you a guy that's just like me, that would usually just grab hold of those brand new cloths, rip the bag open, straight out the packet onto the car? Well, I did that a million times until I did this. And I'm going to take you through something that I do with all of my new towels and cloths now, so you can see exactly why I do it. So then we're outside and I've got the wash and rinse bucket set up with just clean, pure water in them. Um, and I've got my towel set up here to show you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to rip the lid off of this one. Okay. I've got in 15 mil of a non-bio washing liquid. You know, squeeze around in there. Okay, and I'm just going to stir it up with a detailing brush just to make sure it's well mixed in. Doesn't have to be a detailing brush, by the way, you can start up with anything you like. There we go, I can go on there. We'll grab all of these new cloths. These are the Detailers United Buffing Cloths. Uh, picked up on Amazon in a sale back a couple of months ago. Uh, a gentleman called Adam Hipkin. So thank you very much. These are bought and paid for. So thank you. There we go. Nice big towel. I'll drop it in there. Okay. And the time now is 11.24 on Wednesday, August the 25th. Put that towel in there and I'm going to leave it in there to soak. How long am I going to leave it for? We'll have a look later on today and see how it looks. Do the same thing over this side. Okay, rip the lid off of that one. Grab our washing detergent. We're getting here. Oh, that's too much. Back in there. Yeah, that's pretty good. In she goes. Good mix up to make it fair. There we go. All right, and this time I've got to say thanks to Dan Muddle at Detail Freaks for sending us through the absorber for the very purpose of this demonstration. So this is a brand new absorber, it's never been out of the pack. There we go, Let's have a look at it first of all. All right, it's like most of the uh, the twisted loop drying towels that are available, all look like they come out the same factory. So let's plonk it in the bucket, we've mixed it up. Okay, brand new towel, we'll whop it in there. Okay, and we're just gonna leave them to settle. Okay, leave them to soak. So we can come back and see what that water's like once they've had a little bit of a sit time. So there we go. I'll leave them like that. In fact, actually what I'll do, I'll just take them back inside the garage and stand them on the bench so that we can come back to them at another point in time. There we go, job done. Just to, just to show you, it is 11.26 on the 20. So we'll leave it there, and we'll come back to it a bit later on. Ah, now while I was in the garage, I noticed I've got some other cloths from, uh, from Detailers United that were bought in the sale, and these haven't been used yet either. So I thought I'd run the same test on those as well. Okay, so in exactly the same way, 15 mil of uh, non-bio. Get out that bloody pot. There we go. Just swizz around in the water. You can see, I mean, the, the non-bio clouds the water ever so slightly, but not a lot. So let's grab hold of these. Okay. A bit couple there. Yep, there we go. One and two. Same process as before. We'll give them a good whiz around in the bucket. Wrap the lid on. Stand them aside for 24 hours with the others. There we go. Three lots of cloths to look at. So then we said we'd wait 24 hours, but it's 9.42 in the evening on the 25th, 9.42 on the 25th, there we go. Okay, and uh, I decided to nip down into the garage and have a quick look and see how these buckets are getting on with these cloths in soak. Uh, flipping it round, there we go. So that is the green uh, Detailers United cloth, the grey Detailers United cloths, and the 
dry and towel the absorber and detail freaks. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up each of the buckets, put out the cloths, mop them down into the sink, wring them out, and mop them down into the washer, because that's what needs to happen with them. But what I'm going to do is let the water settle and bring you in to have a look at it. So give me a minute and we'll come back here. So I'll start off at this end, I'll bring it forward, mop the lid off. Turn it up that way actually, soak the bench. There we go, it's a chunk out of that. I can get down there in the sink. So, I'm going to just let those buckets settle for a little while. Do you know what? I'll take the grit guards out of them actually because that will allow us to really see the bottom of the bucket once they've settled in. So the rinse bucket had the Detail Freaks absorber towel. The wheels bucket had the Detailers United grey twin-sided buffing cloths and the bucket with the omen is green techno shit in it. As the uh, Detailers United paint cloth. And actually, as I said, I'll take the, take the grit cards out of these. It makes the water settle down to the bottom so we can have a good look around and see what's going on in there. Can't even find the hole in the middle. The water's that yellow. So what we'll do is we'll give these a little while just to settle down because obviously I've been budging around at them. We'll get the old torch out. And, uh... Shit, that one's dirty. <laughs> wow. Okay. Right, that's those back on. So uh, we'll come back here, let them settle for 10 minutes. We'll come back and have a quick look into them uh, with the old uni light and just so I can show you from top down what that water really looks like. But I'd imagine even from the angle I've got the camera set out. Now, you can see that none of that water is clean. And yeah, arguably some of it is dye, but filthy nonetheless. There we go. So then we said we'd come back and have a look at the water in those buckets once we've taken the cloths out and let it settle. So it's time to flip around and have a good look at that. So bucket number one was the green buffing cloth or buffing towel from Detailers United. There's the water there. And it seems that the towel has left most of itself behind. Okay, there it is in there. There's the towel over there. But back to the water. Good look from above. Okay. It's pretty grubby. And down at the side, you can see there, the water's just thick with dye and, and, and a loose film of, of grime and dirt. Now I popped it in a drinking glass, <coughs> excuse me, popped it in a drinking glass, so you can have a good look. And you can see in there, but again, it's pretty grimy, I can't tell you, like, I'll pop it in there, so it's lit from above. Okay, it's, oh, it's manky, pop it against the side of the bucket, there we go, okay, and again against the side of the drinking glass, so you can see, I'll bring it round onto the top, that is. Okay, a lot of dye, a bit of dirt and grime in there as well. Next onto the old grey buffing towels, the twin-sided buffing towels. Now that is, it, it's dirty and there's a lot of the dye leached out there as well. Okay, right into the side. Okay, you can see it's thick, it's really thick. And onto that drinking glass. There it is. Okay, have a good inspection of that. And finally, that drying towel, or the absorber drying towel from Detail Freaks, which, as I said, Dan kindly sent us for the purpose of this video. And you can see there the water, again, mainly dye, but there's a, a layer of dirt in there as well. Put it down at the side, it's hitting it from the bottom. Okay. And again, onto the drinking glass. You can see in there, it's not as clean as it could be. So what does that mean? 
So that about sums it up then guys. New towels come in from the factories and they are not as clean as you think they are. So what am I saying to you? I'm saying it's your responsibility to wash your towels properly before you use them. Because this goes for pretty much any drying towel or buffing cloth that you're gonna pick up in the market. There are boxes full of towels and cupboards full of towels in here that from different manufacturers or different suppliers, Auto Bright, we've got uh, Clean Your Ride, Jewel, Detail Freaks. We've got um, some stuff in from the Motor Spa as well from Jake Lynch. And each and every one of the towels from when I first used them and do this does exactly the same thing. Um, it's part of the manufacturing process. They pick up um, certain bits of dirt and grime in the factories. They do, regardless of what they tell you, they do. And you can see yourselves, they leach a lot of dye out as well. So this isn't a brand bashing exercise. I'm not stood here telling you that Detail Freaks supply filthy dirty towels and Detail is United supply filthy dirty towels. The truth is that all of the towels come in like this. They, they just do. I haven't found one yet that doesn't. And if you've got one out there and you're manufacturing and watching what I'm, what I'm looking at and saying, that's not strictly true, Matt, send them through to me. I'll have a look at them. I'll happily pay for them if you think that your towel will come out clear on this test. So yeah, that pretty much sums it up, guys. You know, wash your towels properly because liquid products will make this stuff leach out onto your paintwork when you go and use them. That's it. If you like what you're watching, give us a thumbs up, come back and subscribe, and uh, yeah, we'll do some more stuff like this in the future. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time.